Okay, let me show you what I've, what I've been working on. I've been uh, taking some inspiration from my friend Ted, who uh, made a uh, lifter using a 12-volt uh, motor uh, with a uh, threaded rod and uh, two solid rods to act as guides here. And he did it on a very fancy little MakerBot machine, making plastic parts. Very cool. Don't have that, though. Uh, so what I've tried to do is uh, go with off-the-shelf things. So what I'm using is uh, grounding bar blocks because the holes are quarter inch and I just had to bore one out slightly larger so that uh, this would fit around the top of the uh, shaft. So these two guys here are uh, quarter inch and then we have uh, in the middle we have the shaft that's uh, one quarter uh, twenty and we have that going down to a coupler because what we have here is this coupler right here uh, goes from the three millimeter shaft on the motor to a quarter inch. Well, that would fit fine on one of these guys, but because the threaded rod has the material removed, obviously, it doesn't quite grip enough. So I had to find a uh, 1 quarter 20 inch uh, bolt, like a carriage bolt, and what I had to do is I had to cut off the end and cut off a little bit of the threading, and this little piece here is acting kind of as a uh, gap piece here, so that it maintains uh, everything stays together. So let's take a look at it. and. As you can see, this motor has just a wee bit of torque from the way it's kind of dancing on the uh, desk. Uh, I would show you this at 12 volt speed, but it's, quite frankly, it's ridiculous. But, you suffered through this video this long, so why not, right? So, ludicrous speed coming up. Whoa. And, uh, let's see if we can stay on the table. A little crazy, huh? So, kids don't try that at home. And, so that's 12 volt. So, just as kind of a little test rig, it's working okay. Uh, I would still need to put limit switches, and I'm not too crazy about putting a block of wood inside R2's dome, but at least we got the whole premise down. And uh, like I said, it wasn't a whole lot of money for parts. These motors are about seven bucks from all electronics, and everything you see here, this is just scrap from the uh, frame, actually. Uh, I think probably the most expensive piece in here outside of the motors would probably be this coupler, uh, which was 12.50 at Servo City. And that's it. Still looking for a neat way to get it lifted or work inside the dome and uh, still having fun experimenting.